In economics and finance, the profit rate is the relative profitability of an investment project, of a capitalist enterprise, or of the capitalist economy as a whole. It is similar to the concept of the rate of return on investment. Historical cost versus market value The rate of profit depends on the definition of capital invested. Two measurements of the value of capital exist, capital at historical cost and capital at market value. Historical cost is the original cost of an asset at the time of purchase or payment. Market value is the resale value, replacement value, or value in present or alternative use. To compute the rate of profit, replacement cost of capital assets must be used to define the capital cost. Assets such as machinery cannot be replaced at their historical cost but must be purchased at the current market value. When inflation occurs, historical cost would not take account of rising prices of equipment. The rate of profit would be overestimated using lower historical cost for computing the value of capital invested. On the other side, due to technical progress, products tend to become cheaper. This in itself should raise rates of profit, because replacement cost declines. A prisoner's dilemma If, however, firms achieve higher sales per worker the more they invest per worker, they will try to increase investments per worker as long as this raises their rate of profit. If some capitalists do this, all capitalists must do it, because those who do not will fall behind in competition. This, however, means that replacement cost of capital per worker invested, now calculated at the replacement cost necessary to keep up with the competition, tends to be increased by firms more so than sales per worker before. This squeeze, that investments per worker tend to be driven up by competition more so than before sales per worker have been increased, causes the tendency of the rate of profit to fall. Thus, capitalists are caught in a prisoner's dilemma or rationality trap. This new rate of profit R, which tends to fall, would be measured as R equals surplus value, capital to be invested for the next period of production in order to remain competitive. Equals Topic Numerical example Equals At the beginning of a year possibly another length of time period in this case other numerical values will arise the capitalist has to invest an amount of capital for example he must invest 100 euros for wages variable capital v furthermore he must invest for constant capital c 100 euros for production material 100 euros for instruments lifespan 2 years 100 euros for machines lifespan 4 years 100 euros for equipment lifespan infinity in total he invests at the beginning of the year 500 euros now it is assumed that during the year the capitalist can produce and sell commodities at a total price of 300 euros volume of sales therefore is 300 euros from volume of sales costs of the year must be deducted Costs of circulating capital are expenses for production material and for labor power, both of them are consumed in production during the year that is the definition of circulating capital. 100 euros wage costs variable capital see assumption above. 100 euros expenses for material, see assumption above. Costs of fixed capital depreciation. Fixed capital are those means of production, which are in use for more than one year. The capitalist must take into account that instruments and machines do not live forever, but must finally be replaced after usage. From sales he must take aside certain sums of money depreciation to be able to replace instruments and machines at their end of life. For instruments, the depreciation expense per year is 50 euros, 100 euros purchase cost divided by lifespan of 2 years, straight line depreciation assumed, and for machines 25 euros, 100 euros purchase cost divided by 4 years. 
For equipment, there is no depreciation expense, because, in this example, it is assumed that equipment holds forever, there is no wear and tear for equipment, in total, costs are €275. Euros. Sales of €300 Euros minus costs of €275 Euros gives a profit of €25. Euros. €25 Euros in relation to an initial capital investment of €500 Euros gives a rate of profit of 5%. From year to year capital can grow at a rate of 5%, if all profits are invested or accumulated. <laughs> Marxian economics In Marxian political economy, the rate of profit R would be measured as R equals surplus value, capital invested, where surplus value corresponds to unpaid labor in the production process or to profits, interest, and rent property income. See also